um, those things. So it's Abude and not Ebri. But how do you spell that though? Okay. Yeah, Abude is A B U D E. Yes, and the current uh, one is A B U R I. Ebri. Yeah, much easier to pronounce, right? Yeah. I mean, look at you think that's so boring. Yeah, because they were not able to pronounce the Abudi. And so they say Ebri. No, Eke, what you are doing there? Eke, what you are traveling there? No, me, I am not there. I am not I heard they changed the name of crowd too because it's supposed to be two K's. You saw the seats, AKA <laughs> You never know, right? They can't pronounce it. Yes, yeah, Patrick, it's the beautiful view, and what you're looking at is that crowd right there. I'm not trying to get a good view. So, that is Jamaica Soup. To the left is Jamaica so. To my to my right yeah, and to your left you is Jamaica so. A suburb of Ibri, also meaning Jamaica town. Hmm. Yes, so family, we are cruising to the wood carving village. Now, organized craftsmen. In Ghana, you find two towns, mainly in Ebri and in Tonsu in Ashanti region. Those people, the act of carving is transferred from generation to generation. So as coming up, you're learning from your parents and then it's transferred. So they do a lot of carvings like stools and other miniatures. Now, in the olden days, when you come to these areas, on Tonso, uh, hey, sorry, and here, and here in Ashanti and the breed, you find what we call the fertility door. Wow. And that, is yeah, that for real? Yes, that they can. Now, it is believed that when you have this door and the couples that are not having kids, you have it, you, the, the main for you, I talk about childbirth and all that and I'll show you why the fertility doll was important to the people in those days whereby you get this doll you treat it like a baby and then you will have a baby God will change his mind and give you a baby so. that's what I'm talking about I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get a bunch of them enough women getting pregnant <laughs> So you are welcome to the you are welcome to the brick craft village. Now the brick craft village, all the vendors here, the prices are not fixed. Okay, good. They are not fixed. They are negotiable. We bargain for everything in Ghana. And if to shock you, you see a Ghanaian going into a supermarket, see the price fixed on the phone, pick the phone, get to the uh, checkout, and tell oh. How, you say how much is this? Mm -hmm. Even though you have seen the price, uh -huh. because you want to bargain That's for it. Right. So you say, you say, how much is this? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay, but can I pay That's right. this? This is what we do. So nothing is fixed here. When they give you the price, just look at it, divide it into two, and start negotiating. Okay, there you go. Okay, cool. That's what's up, there you go. Right. So family, um, th um, it's 30 minutes, guys? Yeah, 30 minutes. Okay. And so hopefully everyone can get all their shopping on and then we'll go enjoy our So lunch. if you don't get it, you okay. will go to Enya and you get some more. Yeah. Alright family, so we are gonna check it out. I might have some fun, I know that. Laugh. I will be laughing at you. Oh, I'm gonna be laughing at you. I'll be get that money. Yes, family, that's our beautiful tour group. Appreciate our brothers and sisters for journeying with us and all of my Ghana staff and crew. Hey, how are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.